Hi everyone, thanks for tuning into this weather briefing. This is Alex Tardy, a meteorologist in the National Weather Service with information provided from Jimmy Tager. For January 10th, we're looking at an active weather pattern setting up with the potential for significant precipitation. These slides will go over some detail. Here are the storm systems and the general weather pattern that's going to cause the weather over the next seven days. Storm number one, we call this a negatively tilted trough. It's a deepening system that is actually diving and aiming towards extreme Southern California. So good for coastal precipitation. Now storm number two, which comes in a little bit later in the weekend into early next week. This storm is more broad and affects uh, especially central and northern California, but we will get some pieces down here in Southern California as well. Here are some of the highlights. Uh, so for storm number one, Friday night, we expect a band of rain moving in from west to east, first hitting LA Basin, then moving into Orange County, San Bernardino County. And the uh, winds will be increasing over the mountains, though this is not a particularly strong windy event. Snow levels start off around 6,500 feet in the light precipitation and then drop late in the evening to about 5,000 feet after midnight. We look for a steady rain developing on the coastal slopes. And uh, also with this system, it's a good producer for coastal city rainfall. And some of that rainfall will be locally heavy. Most of the rates will be around 0.10 to 0.25 per hour, but we'll see some locally heavier rates of 0.3 and maybe even some thunderstorms along the coast coming off the California Bight that could produce about a half inch and that's a one hour's time. The uh, wind like I mentioned not that strong but still gusty winds over the mountains spilling over to the deserts maybe some windy locations up around 45 miles per hour. By Saturday morning you should see some new snowfall um, a little bit of snow in our mountain cities of San Bernardino Mountains maybe an inch down to Idlewild and uh, ski resorts up around six inches. So that's storm number one. This storm number one continues Saturday. So in San Diego County, it's going to be pretty stormy early Saturday morning, even after sunrise. We could still see some thunderstorms lingering in that area, some locally heavy rain. Winds will be decreasing uh, over our mountains and deserts. The snow levels will be lowest Saturday morning, so keep that in mind of traveling. We could see some snow. Um, even some slushy accumulation down to 4,500 feet. So that, that's important for your evening, uh, late Friday night, and then your Saturday morning commute. Here's some highlights for the next storm. We'll call this storm number two, Sunday night through Tuesday. Again, most of this goes across Northern California where they're gonna get impacted significantly. But nonetheless, we'll see scattered showers, uh, maybe numerous at times. Most of the precipitation will be orange in San Bernardino counties. Snow levels will creep up a little bit, uh, but still be up near the uh, mountain city communities such as Big Bear, Wrightwood. They might have a mixture of rain and snow at times. Uh, winds kind of the southwest, the mountain areas strongest 30, 40 miles per hour. We'll see some accumulation of snow, uh, especially uh, just above the town levels uh, in the ski resorts. The rainfall rate's not nearly as strong, but some of the heavier showers, a tenth of an inch to uh, 15 hundredths. And again, the primary area will be uh, Orange and uh, San Bernardino counties. Now, uh, shifting gears to storm number three, we'll call. That's midweek next week, Wednesday and Thursday. It looks pretty good. Um, this could be a pretty impactful storm, not just in Southern California, but all of California. Some steady precipitation moving in, uh, probably two chunks of it at least. Totals, it's a little early to say, but uh, most places, uh, one to three inches, uh, even for the coastal areas, perhaps an inch or two. And uh, the three inches could be exceeded in some of our wet coastal slopes, heaviest along the cold front. This will have some wind too, and that'll drive some of the precipitation out on the coastal slopes, gusts 30 to 50 miles per hour. Snow levels, um, they'll be highest on Wednesday in the warm portion of the storm and then drop significantly on Thursday. But nonetheless, up around the town level, um, especially when we have the steady precipitation. And uh, we could see some significant snowfall, well over six inches for above 7,000 feet. Rainfall rates with this storm, uh, for the most part, uh, peak rainfall of a quarter inch per hour 
but uh, we also could see uh, rainfall a little heavier along the coastal slopes, especially uh, later on Wednesday into Thursday as this powerful storm moves through potentially. All right, uh, over the next uh, six days, this is what it looks like across the state. You can see the red shaded areas really favor the coast. Uh, that's storm number one and part of storm number two that'll hammer along the coast. Storm number three is not included in this uh, map here, so keep that in mind. Storm number three would be next Wednesday, Thursday time frame. For storm number one, here's a little bit of detail over Southern California. For the most part, uh, this is a coastal storm, so a lot like last weekend, a half inch to an inch rainfall in some of those heavier bands as it moves in. It'll spill into the mountains, of course, um, and then also um, in the high deserts and, and lower deserts a little bit. Some of that heavy rain uh, looks to be targeted between like Laguna Beach, uh, Temecula, Oceanside, uh, Escondido, and up into Palomar Mountain. Um, this is uh, about a 12-hour uh, storm, so Friday night into Saturday morning. One thing interesting to know, um, we've been seeing some really warm, above normal sea surface temperatures along our coast here in the California Bight. Now, um, they've cooled off a little bit the past few days thanks to the big swell and high surf turning things over. But um, that warmer water uh, is an ingredient for uh, a little bit heavier rainfall, especially for coastal areas. And we definitely saw that last weekend. Um, and that will be a little bit of a factor again uh, for Friday night, especially for Saturday morning as the cold air above us arrives. That creates the instability over the warmer water. Wind is not a big factor with storm number one. Um, but like I mentioned earlier, some of our mountain communities will actually be windy and spilling into the high deserts there with gusts 30, 40 miles per hour. Um, that's mainly Friday night. Snowfall, not a big snowmaker, but our ski resorts will do well with up to six inches. The mountain communities, um, anywhere from one to four inches. And that uh, includes uh, Idlewild, an inch, um, Big Bear area, a couple inches as shown here. Just a little bit of snow potential for the San Diego mountains. Um, keep that in mind as well, up around um, uh, above 5,000 feet as that cold storm comes in uh, Saturday morning. Here's the big summary. Um, storm number one, Friday night, Saturday. Looks like it's going to end Saturday afternoon. The heaviest uh, showers will be Saturday morning early, and uh, there could be some thunderstorms with that, and also the snow levels will come down. Several inches of snow above 6,000 feet. Uh, so we'll see impacts, uh, potential for some urban flooding. There's a little bit of threat for debris flows and rock slides. Um, and then, of course, snow-covered roads. Uh, weaker storm now for storm number two. That'll be uh, Sunday evening through Tuesday. The brunt of that staying across central northern California. Uh, scattered showers is our main impact, uh, with also some snow up around the 6,000-plus uh, level of San Bernardino Mountains. Uh, we also don't want to forget, um, in this active pattern, it looks like another significant storm is possible for Wednesday, Thursday with some large scale impacts uh, across much of the state, including Southern California with rain, a um, little bit of wind, and of course, um, mountain snow. Well, thanks for tuning into this uh, webinar. Uh, make sure you check the headlines at weather.gov San Diego for the latest in this active weather.